Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 19. That is, what is expected from the testing team on testing a software application? Let me answer this question for you. First of all, ultimate goal of any software project is to deliver the software applications on time with highest quality possible. So to achieve that, we need a good testing team, okay? We need a good testing team or a team of good testers we want. So what are the expectations from the testing team to be good and to deliver this kind of software applications on time with highest quality possible? Let me explain one by one in this session. So expectations from good testing team and a team of good testers is first expectation is understanding the priorities okay a good testing team or a team of good tester should understand the priorities which functionality should be tested first which functionality can be tested later they have to understand that basic knowledge should be there testers should know what should be tested first and what should be tested later so because not always the testing team will get the time right okay so we cannot complete we cannot test each and every functionality of the application if the application is very complex and big and uh, we don't have so much of time to perform testing in that cases guys this kind of skill set okay a good testing team or a team of good testers should have a proper understanding of deciding the priorities of the functionalities so so they can perform the important functionalities they can test the important functionalities first and uh, non important functionalities later okay they should have this skill set of prioritizing the functionalities and then performing the testing next a good testing team or a team of good testers should ask questions and clear doubts okay if the testing team or testers don't ask questions or clear doubts ultimately they cannot understand the application if the testing team doesn't understand the application what will happen they cannot test the application properly okay that's what is the problem so to understand the application to test the application properly the testing team the good testing team or a team of good testers should ask and clear the doubts okay all the all the questions need to be asked all the doubts need to be cleared okay to understand the application and to perform the testing properly next thing next thing is for a good testing team is to create better test cases by generating more ideas okay as a testing team we have to test the application in all directions okay so that we can we can uncover okay we can uncover all the most of the defects as possible ways okay so that we can uncover most of the defects in the application as possible so that the application functionality becomes stable so to uncover such kind of defects guys okay we as a testing team good testing team should be able to generate more ideas of testing okay and create more better test cases and then perform testing so that almost all okay or most of the defects in the application gets uncovered by us and that ultimately leads to the quality of the software right next next expectation from the good testing team is to have good domain knowledge the testing team a good testing team should have good domain knowledge guys okay so without having a for example if you are testing a banking application the testing team who is actually performing the testing on the banking application doesn't have the domain knowledge of the banking then they may not be able to the testing team may not be able to test the application well right so another expectation for a good testing team is to have good domain knowledge of the application that they are testing as part of their project now the next expectation from the testing team is to take care of creating the testing environments configuring the environments and testing them okay so as a good testing team we should test our application okay given application in all the supported test environments okay we should be in a position to create all create configure and make this test environments ready and complete the testing in all the supported test environments fine next one so test good testing team should have the focus on the test environments to be tested then next one is about the focus on the test data test data plays a major role in testing guys okay so if you are testing an application with a normal data it may not yield you all the it will not yield or uncover the required 
amount of defects that need to be identified okay so when you create a proper test data and use it in your application for testing then you will uncover most of the defects in the application okay will uncover most of the defects so all this depends on the data guys okay all this depends on the data and in real time how the data is uh, created how the data is generated by the application everything we have to test as a good testing team or a team of good software testers fine focus on the test data while testing the application is very important a lot of testers what they do is they focus on the functionality of the application they forget about the data importance of the data guys okay data plays a key role so because of using different type of data application will behave differently and because of the application behaving differently we may come across some defects which cannot be covered with normal data okay so focus on good testing team uses good uh, good data okay we'll spend uh, quality time on test data and we'll perform testing with that quality data okay to uncover most of the defects in the software then the next expectation from the good testing team is to have good communication skills communication doesn't mean fluent english guys okay so a lot of people think that communication means good uh, good uh, uh, speaking skills okay they have grammar and uh, spelling mistakes in english that's what they think but that's not the case guys okay good communication means making others okay a good testing team should be in a position to make the other people understand whatever they are communicating whatever they are speaking or writing or creating documents or whatever it may be in form okay at the speaking or writing those work should be understood by the other party mainly in testing team communicates with the clients it communicates with the developers communicates with other stakeholders and will participate in the meetings and uh, here the important thing is communication guys okay they should have good communication skills it's not about english guys fluent english it's about the way we are able to make other people understand is what is good communication the next one is all rounder tester okay nowadays okay the expectations for the testing team is to be an all rounder tester okay you should not be just a batsman or bowler or a wicket keeper or a fielder okay you should not be only one you should be able to do everything guys okay so in testing also when you get a project we don't know what is the requirement sometimes the client will be asking for manual testing sometimes the client will ask for automation testing sometimes the client will ask for api testing sometimes the client will ask for the automation testing in different programming languages like java python c sharp ruby javascript and so on and sometimes the client will ask you to perform uh, testing for uh, on the application for performance testing or security testing it may be anything guys you should be an all rounder okay so expectations for uh, a good testing team or a team of good testers is to become a all round tester okay they have to become an all round tester and they should be flexible enough in working on different tasks okay whatever the uh, task comes that has to be performed by the tester okay so we should be in a we cannot say no guys as software tester or a team of good testing team we should not say no or i don't know okay you should take up the testing task it may be anything small or big it doesn't matter you should be in a position to test it okay or using different testing types and all okay you should be ready for anything you should be flexible enough for doing any task on testing that's what is expectation from a good testing team very important point this is next identifying and reporting defects correctly and in an understandable way okay as a good testing team we should be able to identify the defects correctly okay we should be in, if if you are if if you are a good tester or a if you if you are a good testing team you should have the capability of identifying the defects in the software okay you should be have the you should be good at identifying the defects in the software that's the first one you don't identify what's the use right so testers they have to they should be good at identifying the defects then not only identifying the defects guys reporting the correct defects proper defects okay reporting anything that comes to your plate is all again bad guys okay so we should identify the defects and we should be in a position to analyze whether the defects are good or not whether it is a valid defect or invalid defect you should make that judgment okay and report the proper details to the developers without wasting their time then 
reporting the defects in such a way that the other party understands okay here some testers what they do is they report the defects the problem with them is that they will not make sure that the other party is able to understand whatever the documentation they have done so that the other party can understand the uh, reported defect by you okay so whenever we report a defect we have to make sure that you have documented it well and the other uh, developer or other party can understand the defect then it's not just about reporting the defects guys okay we have to attach all the supporting details okay so not only the required details we have to provide in the defect reports but also we have to attach more even more additional details like uh, logs application logs or whatever it is okay screenshots a video proofs or whatever it is okay that will make the job of the developer easy okay so you have to investigate well just reporting the defects is bad guys okay so we have to report in a way that a lot of information is provided so that will make the job of the developer easy in identifying the defect and fixing the defect okay so then not only that as part of the re reporting of the defects a good testing team should categorize the defects correctly okay whether it is a uh, what type of defect it is okay what type of functional defect or non functional defect compatibility defect or that kind of by nature you have to categorize the defects or by and and by priority uh, it has to be fixed urgently or can be delayed so priority has to be uh, with priority we have to categorize the defects and with severity also we have to categorize the defects okay so critical severity uh, high severity medium severity okay like that we have to categorize the defects okay fine then next expectation from the good testing team is to test the real time scenarios okay we should not simply test the application and say that it is working fine or not okay we should imagine what the real users are going to use the application like okay after this particular software get released into the market how the end users or real customers are going to use the software by keeping that in mind we have to test the application okay with the realistic real time scenarios we have to use for testing the application so by this guys okay if you test like that most of the defects will be uncovered okay this is ultimate thing fine next expectation from the testing team is to okay never stop learning and you should be a quick learner okay as a tester you should be a quick learner and also you should not stop learning guys okay we have to keep learning new stuff new stuff manual automation api performance security different tools different programming languages there is no end guys okay different domains of the application different uh, technical skills like uh, all the concepts okay like uh, protocols networking concepts anything that comes to your plate sql java programming python programming okay we should be technically sound over and we have to keep evolving over a period of time we should never stop learning guys and we should be a quick learner okay so by doing this uh, never stop learning approach and quick learning okay we will become a kind of all rounder and we will be able to do whatever that comes to our plate and thereby we will grow in our career right so that's what is the thing fine next so we should have a testing good testing team should have a positive attitude it's not just about testing guys okay so a good uh, testing team should have a positive attitude where they should focus well on testing with that attitude uh, they should communicate well with the development team okay so some testers will keep fighting with the development teams so okay? i am right you are wrong kind of thing okay that should not be there we have to put that thing in a positive manner okay with our positive attitude we have to make our communication also kind of positive we should uh, give good response to the client we should not feel burden what client is saying okay we have to give our 100% to the clients okay so take ownership of the task we should take the ownership of the task guys okay so whenever some things come to our plate we should be in a position to take it okay so we should not escape from the task okay we have to take it and uh, we have to solve that with positive attitude now other thing is teamwork okay so as a good testing team the team should have a very good teamwork okay if only one person is working well in the team and remaining all are enjoying or they are not showing interest in working the team will ultimately fail guys okay so so the expectation from the testing team is to have a good teamwork guys okay 
so they have to understand each other they have to support each other well in the team and they should provide the better results in the team okay fine and many more will come guys okay if i keep on explaining about what are the expectations from the testing team lot of things will come whenever you get a question on expectations from the testing team don't be afraid guys to remember all these things whatever you remember you explain okay so uh, i covered a lot of things here so that uh, whatever you remember you can explain guys okay so because no one can uh, remember all this much of stuff right and each and everything if they have to explain that is not so easy so what we have to do is uh, whatever you remember from this uh, list of things okay from the expectation from the good testing team you just remember them and explain when you get this kind of question in the interviews so with this guys i am done with this session so in the next session i am going to answer one more software testing interview question for you till then thank you see you bye